Hey guys, this is Mikaji Crypto. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, specifically BTC slash USDT. In the previous video, we spoke about a target that we had to come down and hit. And after we came down and hit that target, we could potentially see a bounce. That's exactly what happens as the previous video. We will take a look at this target once again, and we'll talk about what could potentially be happening in the next few days. So if this sounds interesting, let's get started. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the like button. Do not be a Debbie Downer, hit the like button. It does help out the algorithm. Now, before we get started, I do wanna point out two things. The first thing I wanna point out is if you are interested in trading, I do offer a course for trading. Uh, if you take a look at the links below, this Patreon link will give you access to my Discord group. And my Discord group has over 100 active day traders. And uh, I have a full course over there with about 21 videos. And this teaches you everything there is to know about trading from A to Z. I have a 77% win record as well, which has been journaled in my entire group for everyone to see. I have about 50 trades, and out of those 50 trades, I won about 77% of the time. So this trading course will give you um, good information on learning how to trade. If you wanna learn how to pick up a skill, this is the place to be. The second thing I wanna point out is my friend opened up a Discord channel. It's called the Market Madness uh, Discord Group. So I put it up in the link below. And there's a little competition about who can get the most invites, okay? If you check out this link and you click on this link and you want to join this Discord group below, and if you do end up joining the Discord group, go down to this area and track your invites. There's a track your invites section and write Mikuji sent me. If you write Mikuji sent me and track your invites, I'll give one of you guys a hundred bucks by May the 2nd. So by May the 2nd, whoever's written Mikuji sent me on this Discord group, on the May the 2nd, I'll message one of you guys and I'll be like, okay, here's a hundred dollars. And I'll send you one, one of you guys a hundred US dollars if you do this. Now, um, again, the benefit of this is this that this is a small channel. I do have a small channel. And because I have a small channel, there might be only 10 to 20 of you guys that actually end up doing this. So the chances are in your favor, one out of 10, one out of 20 to win a hundred bucks. It's quite simple. It's quite easy to do. And whoever it sends, says Mikuji send me, I'll send you guys a hundred bucks. I'll private message you guys and send you a hundred bucks, which is not a lot of money, but whatever, right? Now, again, feel free to check that out. If you guys are interested in winning a hundred dollars by May the second, uh, check out my friend's Discord group. And uh, if you are interested, do that. Otherwise, don't do it, up to you. Now, let's take a look at the previous video and see what has happened and uh let's check it out so this is my previous video i made this about three days ago and let's see what i said at the end of the video so as of right now if you do make a way towards the outside there is a possibility to go as low as over here and this zone below us is seen with the bitcoin logarithmic growth curve which is the next fifth level of the bitcoin logarithmic growth curve so i would say 37k to 38k 37 to 38k will be the next major zone of support if we reject this trend line and we make our way towards the downside perfect so this is what I said on the previous video, and let us see what has happened since then. Okay, so this was us. We went up to 42K from the previous video. Let me hit play. Now to hitting 42K, we rejected it, just like I said in the previous video, and we came back down, and then we perfectly hit our target below us at about 38K, right over there. So we went up to 42 to 42.5. And in fact, we went up to exactly 42.9. We rejected the area. Then we came back down to 38.2 to 38.3, um, said exactly in the video, right? So if you did watch my previous video, you did benefit from this because you were expecting the short towards the downside. Now let's take a look at what has happened since then and has any of my views changed? Because our current price right now is we're currently at $40,000. So we did have a move down, we did have that bounce that I spoke about because of the reasons I gave you in the past. And we are about forty thousand dollars once again and people might start getting bullish again so just be a little careful don't fall into any bull traps right now we're still very much so on a downtrend don't think that this was a liquidity grab and we could go much higher it's a possibility but as of right now the odds are still not in the bull's favor we're very much so in the bear's favor now what we'll do is we'll take a look at the macro aspect and see how this has turned out okay we'll start off with the weekly aspect and this is the weekly aspect right over here. Let me just close this and show you what's happening. So now I'm, I'm pretty, um, I understand that a lot of people are saying that we can go down to 20,000, 18,000. Some people are even saying 3,000. Now, I don't think 
we're going to go down to 3000 or 13 or 12,000. Again, this is the crypto space. Anything can happen. I think the only way we can do something like that to like 18 to 17 to 16 is if we have a black swan event, because right now I don't think it's possible because right now the circumstances are different before we didn't have institutional money. Now we have institutional interest. We have a lot of uh, adoption right now of the world, the world scale. So I don't think it's very possible for us to go down to $18,000 or 17 or 16 or 15. I still think our bottom, we're pretty fairly close to our bottom, I would say. Okay. And I'll give you the reasons why I think that. And uh, let's take a look at this right over here. So I'm going to show you the macro aspect and the weekly aspect. We can see right over here, if I draw a trend line from the left to the right, and I'm going to use confluence along with this. And the confluence I'm going to be using along with this is the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve. Okay, this is the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve. I've talked about this Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve since we started rejecting sixty-seven to sixty-eight thousand dollars. I've been telling you guys that if you were looking for a bottom, the bottom of the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve is the area that we could come down to. I've been saying this for the past few months, and if you guys have been following my channel, you would know that. Now, if I take a look in the past for the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, this has always been the bottom for the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve. We have never actually broken below this and gone further down. This has happened in the year 2011 and 2012 and the year of 2015 over here as well in 2018 and over here was the only time we had a dump below this and we immediately recovered and this went down to March of 2020. So this was the only time we really went below the Bitcoin log into growth curve, but we immediately recovered and we made a move towards the upside. As of right now, the bottom of the Bitcoin log into growth curve is currently coming in at approximately thirty-three dollars to $34,000. And this has confluence as well with the trend line, this ascending trend line, and this type of channel we're making towards the upside. Okay, so we do have confluence with the BTC logarithmic growth curve, and we do have confluence with this type of channel that we're currently making sideways. Okay, we do have confluence with this. So again, I might get heat for saying what I'm going to say right now because everyone is extremely bearish. Don't get me wrong, I am pretty bearish as well, but I do think that these areas below us the low 30s possibly the high 20s is uh could potentially be the bottom right it could potentially be the bottom just looking in the past now the way this wouldn't be the bottom is if uh there's a black swan event to be crash something like this in the past the black swan event and we crash then we can go down to the low to mid 20s but apart from that if everything is okay i know the economy right now is not the best but i mean if everything is steady and we start recovering and start going up and whatnot then I think this is a good possibility for this to be the bottom at the low 30s. Now, another thing I want to be taking a look at, apart from this, is if we do come down to the low 30s, I'm going to be looking at uh, signs, signs of the chart to tell me what my patient is is uh, is telling me. The signs are volume. So if you take a look over here, after we had this big move towards the upside, when we came down to back test the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, we've always had these spikes of volume towards the downside, towards the upside, I should say, at the bottom, right? So we've always had these spikes of volume. So as you see, there was no volume on the way down over here. When we hit the bottom of the Bitcoin logarithmic the growth curve, we had spikes in volume. We did that over here. We did that over here. And you can see this, that we've kept doing this in the past. There was barely any volume on this way down over here. But as we hit the bottom of the Bitcoin logarithmic the growth curve, then we started having our spikes in volume. This is one of the signs to tell you that we could be having a potential reversal. As of right now, let's take a look at our volume chart and see what's currently happening. And as of right now, you can clearly see that the volume is minuscule. There is literally no volume on the chart right now, even towards the downside. I mean, even the bearish volume is not there. The bullish volume is non-existent. The bearish volume is also non-existent as of right now. So if we do end up making a move back down over here, towards 32, towards 31, towards 30, look for that volume spike. If we do have volume spikes towards the upside, then this could potentially um, signify a reversal towards the upside. That's what I'm going to be taking a look at if you do end up coming down here. As of right now, we are still very bearish on the macro aspect. Let's take a look at the moving averages of significance. Let me close this. The moving averages of significance, like I've talked about in the past, is the Bitcoin bear resistance band, you can call it now. This is taken from Benjamin Cohen's channel. I've always pointed it out whenever I use his TA. And over here, as you can see right now, we are we have rejected the Bitcoin log with the growth curve, and we are potentially coming back up for a retest once again. And it's again, it's coming around $42,000. We have a lot of resistance at 42 k And uh, I've talked, I've given you my talking points in detail about this band. Um, one thing I do want to point out over here is uh, this over here on the three-day chart. This is the three-day chart over here. Let me just 
close the support band and open up two moving averages, which is the 50 and the 200. Okay, this is the this is the most important thing I'm currently looking at right now. So the most important thing I'm currently looking at right now is the crossover of the 15 to 200 simple moving average on the three day chart. This crossover has always resulted in a move towards the downside. Over here, you can see in 2018, there was a 50% drop after the crossover. And over here as well, towards the downside, there was a 62% drop towards the downside after this crossover. As of right now, we are very, very close for this crossover from happening. In fact, we're about a week away from this crossover to happening. Okay, if we maintain this these levels anywhere from two to seven days away from this crossover happening, we just crash right now. The faster the crossover, as of right now, we're still very much so below the 50 SMA, and we're just literally holding on for dear life with the 200 SMA. So it's very possible for a major crash to happen very soon. But one thing I do want to point out is after the crossover, how long did it take us for us to hit our bottom? And this is an important thing that I don't think anybody has really talked about. And if you see after this crossover over here, it took us about 30 days for the bottom to be hit after we've had that crossover. And again, when we had this crossover once again, how long did it take us for our bottom to be hit? And over here, we take a look at this. It has taken us again about 30 to 33 days to 36 days for our bottom to be hit. The three day crossover right now, the 15 to 200 SMA, which is called the death cross, this is approximately going to happen in May. So if this happens, would our bottom technically be in June? Would that be a possibility for, I mean, two out of two times in the past, it has been about a month after the crossover for our bottom to be hit. So if this were to respect the previous chart, the previous chart being the 50, the being the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, if we were to come down after the crossover, is it a possibility for us to have some sort of liquidity grab over here, then have a massive spike in volume to volume towards the upside and then after the spike possibly then have a move towards the upside i'm going to be taking a look at this on the major time frame to see if this is a possibility because in my opinion this is a real possibility for this to happen um, as long as we don't have a black swan event i do think this is a it's, a it's a real possibility for this to happen because i do believe that everybody's really bearish right now and because people are very bearish I don't think it's going to go down to those levels because the sentiment is very bearish. I don't think it's going to go down to 18 to 17 to 16 thousand dollars. I'm going to be looking at my signs. The signs are the spike in volume. The signs are the liquidity grab off this area. If we do come down to this area and then I'm going to be adding in my long position off this area because again, this area has been a significant area since the inception of BTC since the very beginning of 2009, 2010. You can clearly see this from the very beginning. Okay, from the very beginning, you can clearly see why this is an important area. Okay, so again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Again, don't be a Debbie Downer. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Also, um, again, check out my friend's uh, Discord channel, right? If you want to win 100 bucks, May 2nd, I'll send you guys 100 bucks. One of you guys, 100 bucks. And not a lot of you guys are going to apply for this, which is a good thing for people that are actually genuinely interested. Because if only like 10 people actually are interested and they click on the link and they go here and they write Mikuji sent me. Make sure to write Mikuji sent me over here so I know who to send the money to. There's only like 10 people doing this. I mean, one out of 10 is a pretty good odds. I'll do like any mini, mini, mo kind of thing and I'll pick one of you guys. Okay, thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye.